Civics were 50%. But everything is 40% now, the boost. Settler's done. We're going to have to move one of these guys out of here, but that's going to be fine. Um, I think we go straight into another Settler. Especially with no actual AIs nearby. It's going to be the way to go. You can finish off this one. You can archerize this one. I mean, you're, you're damaged. You're not going to do as much, but that's going to be okay. Then the builder can come out here to do a repair. Which is my favorite animation in the game. And then the settler. Well, actually, I think we do want to settle, like, forward here. Um, if we settle on the coast over here, we end up with, like... If I settle, say, right on the tip, I can do an insanely good harbor here. Because it's going to have a four gold harbor. No fresh water, and not a whole lot of resources to talk about, though. I'm thinking we actually settle a little bit more inland, like right here. Actually, probably right here. For access to the double ivory, start with the wheat, get the fresh border bonus right away. And it forward settles up our continent. So I think that's going to be the thing. However, I'm not going to be able to move out right this second. Well, I could move out over here. But we don't really gain anything, because I'm definitely going to have to escort things. There's Stonehenge, and a city-state was obliterated. Signs per citizen was reduced as well. Yep. My right, campuses are that much more important. Okay. Rest here. Rest here. You're going to have to wait. Scooch longer. And rest here. I'm probably going to risk getting the uh, Mercury. Although I might want to just keep around until the Barbarian Threat is completely gone in case I have to do another repair. But I think we're alright. Rest one more turn. Actually, you know what? You're pretty healthy. You're going to be fine. And with that in mind, I will move out with the Archer as well. Because he's going to have some protection. And between all that, we should be okay. But I, I think the the invasion from the, the Woke Up Scout is is done. And yeah, I want to settle there. So I'll move up here, because next turn I can just settle in place and buy that tile and obliterate the camp. Which is a nice little trick. Craftsmanship. craftsmanship done. I don't think we're going to need discipline. I don't know if we're running a goge right now, though. A gogi. And god king we still want for now. Because if we're alone, uh, religion's going to be that much more tempting. And we have access to our unique improvements. Okay, so yeah, um, I think I'm okay with this. Done, and purchase, I mean, we can just pop it normally anyway, but we'll get the money, so it, like, pays for itself. Did it, like, spawn those guys as a result of me purchasing that tile? I don't know, but it's fine. I do want to get my monuments up, but I think actually another builder is a really good idea. Got a couple of good tiles, and we can get, um, culture from our unique improvement. So, we don't have to rush monuments quite the same way. You are basically healed. I don't know where our next settle spot's going to be. We might want to start, like, doing a little bit of dot mapping. You know, we haven't checked out the coast yet. I'm going to move you over this way to see what we're doing, going to do. And yeah, we're going to want to stand some guys around here so we don't get barbarian spawns. I mean, we're in a position now where we can handle the barbarian spawns. But it's still slightly inconvenient to just mass settling. Do that. Not worried about anything. Wanna take that goody hut away from me? Oh, this is actually gonna go up for quite a bit longer. It's not the coast there. That's interesting. We do that. We're gonna do this. Another city state got obliterated somewhere. I thought Clay must feel happy. I think what we have to do is hard research writing. As much as it would be nice to see where iron is and so on and so forth, we have to get a campus up as soon as possible, because, yeah, the population-based um, tech rate has gone down in uh, in the patch, so campuses are more important than ever, and we have a really good campus location, even if we don't build a library right away. You believe that's a lake with the fish? It is a lake. Okay, so this is um, a little bit more territory than I'd initially expected then. Um, I can't move and shoot. 
And I suppose I don't even have to smash this guy, just in case there's more threats in behind. I'll stay on this little spot and keep healing for now. So yeah, we might end up meeting some more people. Um, in which case it becomes that much more important that we just fill this area by settling as quickly as possible. Smash. A free builder? In which case, I can delay this builder here, because we're going to be improving all the tiles anyway. Um, I don't think we have to rush to a granary. I think what we do, unless we decide to get more military, but we don't actually have an AI neighbor yet, I will get a monument going, because that's going to be swell. Um, we'll go and improve the uh, ivory first, because we might need a little bit of happiness. I think we're okay right now. Yeah, plus one amenities. Oh, because we did hook up the, uh, the mercury. Another city-state defeated. Die. Okay. I'm gonna go in here. Build a camp. Move over here. So, the question is, do we swap out of these? And I think the answer is no. I don't know when we're gonna actually discover another continent. Um, and I want a trade route going, so I think we have to hard research this. I suspect we will find someone soon, but we've at least got another turn or two to work on writing. Um, but I think I might still just hard research it. But the unique building south of Nagmapu. Oh, I've got to rename it as well. So, we are going to rename this one to Put Put 4. I don't remember, this doesn't let me paste, right? Oh, it does! Put Put 4! Welcome to our little empire. Or was there not a scout buzzing around here somewhere? Okay, well, I don't know where he went, so go there. Still no one. I mean, this is too big for us to be solo over here, but it might be, like, there's frost here. It might be a very tiny connection through, like, the tundra. City's built around a putt-putt course. I, I think I'm going to keep researching this. It'll be a little disappointing if we're one turn away and then we pop the uh, the Eureka for it. But we've been in situations before where we, like, never got the Eurekas, or the boosts, I should say, and that was kind of a big pain in the ass. You are plentiful on housing. I do want to sell a little bit more, but I think we'll let Jezeruk grow a little bit more. Um, and s with the growing, we will want another builder soon over here. Um, part of me is actually thinking another archer, though, just to go and claim a little bit more territory. Um, actually, you know what? Let me get another scout, because I think we actually have work for the scouts to do. I'm gonna go this way. Either way, he's stuck, so that'll be okay. I think we go here on this side of the lake. This gives us good protection. From people we get um you know plenty of fresh water you get the tea one two three we get the citrus the fish the other citrus over here i mean it's not coastal but i think it's much 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 more defensive i mean we could settle on the other side right where the warrior is there's something to be said about that too well what we'll do is we'll start moving forward we're going to see what happens when we move the warrior forward here a bit more and see if that changes our opinion about anything Oh, that does change your opinion. Because that's actual coast. I guess you can actually tell by the way it looks. I just realized. There's a Pantheon finally. Okay. We have two elephants. We've got some citrus. Alright, we've got some mercury. We've got some citrus and tea. There could be fishing boat stuff. We don't have it yet. Um... Pastures, we, we camp this, not pasture this, so that doesn't help. Regardless, plus one to amenities to the city if they have a holy site district adjacent to a river. I think we will end up doing a holy site and maybe trying to found a religion if we're alone, but... Goddess of the Hunt, plus one food from camps. That would help putt-putt. Doesn't really do anything else. But it, I mean, it's still fine. Divine Spark! Always excellent, obviously. I do like the food. I think we Divine Spark. Oral Tradition is from Citrus. 
Yeah, I don't think that's enough to just justify this. Do we have do we have deer? We've got deer over here for another camp. Like we don't have a ton of camps. I think divine sparks fine. Cuz it helps with both the initial great profit and also great scientists throughout the entire game. I like it. And we are probably going to make a run for it. Um, you are going to blow that guy up. Thank you very much. And you're just going to scout out over here. I don't. Maybe we don't need another scout. Maybe we are locked here. But at some point, we'll get um, boat-type tech, and, you know, we'll go there. So, we can put our thing here. Now, it is breathtaking because of all the forests. So, if we were to cut down the forests then we would lose that. But I think we're going to lumber mill these, because they're not on hills. And lumber mills don't have negative appeal, for some reason. So we'll take it. Why not? Hmm. Yeah, this might be alone. This is a big island to be alone on. It's a continent's map. But sometimes you get this. Doesn't mean there can't still be a slim connection somewhere else, and people just haven't gotten around to finding us yet. Um, go and just whack this guy a little. I know you won't kill him, but that's okay. I'm I'm gonna build another archer. We're gonna we're gonna probably get to our mechanics boost. Clear a little space. Let these cities grow a little bit. For another recon unit. Okay, that's gonna be kind of ridiculous. There's a goodie hut, yeah. But I want to check the coast here. Although I guess this guy would have caught around to it. I want to see because we're like thinking about city placement here. Um, looks like we need to peek around there just to get full coverage. I think we are looking for a fairly high density setup here. Um, I gotta say, this little tundra city is not gonna be bad at all. Not bad at all. I still really like this spot, and then if we do this, one, two, three, it enables some placements on the coast. Let's see here. If we settle there, and that means we can settle here or there. Probably here. Oops, not there. Like, we want a lot of cities, I think. Comes a good harbor location. Uh, we can't put one there, but we can tuck one here later, and I'm 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 sure we will. Probably here to get this crab because it's not going to be worked by anything else. Probably there. Two, three. A northern city somewhere might fit. We'll see. So that's, that's kind of viable. So if I build you, we're going to have three culture, because it's got a beauty of four, so we get 75%. That's a lot of culture. There's also something to be said about just farming the hell out of this for food, but if we've got unique improvements we can build, we're going to do that. We get a lot of era score for that, although it might have been nice to like go from a dark age to a golden age. Um, I need to check something. I don't know what the exact rules are for placing this, other than it's got to be on a high appeal. Yeah, they could... There's no limit to being next to each other. Hills and flat. It looks like you can build them anywhere that's pretty enough. Go and auto-explore. I'm wondering if I should prioritize one of the coastal cities. Just to get the boat tech going on. Like, maybe just here. It's going to have decent production and growth early on. Not, not the greatest harbor location. But it's still fine. Hell, even this would be fine. To be perfectly honest. That's a really good site. I don't think... Yeah, I, we won't worry about coast yet. I'm just going to go here. It's close. Um, and it's a very, very solid site. Because we're going to get... Two food, one gold from the fish. If we've got sailing. Um... Yeah, we should show yields while you had a settler selected. Get the sides from the T. We'll need some improvements pretty quick, but that's okay. I 
I think the game put you on an island of your own with no desert. Make sure you're not tempted to build the Petro. <laughs> well then, game, I appreciate it, because you, you're stopping me from doing something terrible. No. Plus one pop? Hey, that's pretty good. And yeah, I'm quite happy that we made the decision to just hard research this stuff. Clearly, it was correct. We may not rush the third archer right away. I like an extra one, because an extra body to make sure no more barbarians spawn. Because if we stop barbarians from spawning here, then we're just, like, we're laughing. Um, I will get the Agoge. That's going to be fine. And we don't need Gog King anymore, so I'm going to switch over to Urban Planning. And let's get Bronze Working, see where the iron is. I don't think that's going to change our city placement, because we're mostly looking for maximum overlap, but just in case. And, um, yeah, we're going to work our way up to political philosophy. We're going to have to probably hard research the actual political philosophy, which sucks, but I don't know. So, yeah, start, um, we're going to start positioning ourselves for a little bit of barbarian bustingness. I think if you stand, like, right there, that's going to be okay, and we'll get you to, well, there's going to be a city here soon, so it's not going to matter. You're going to check all the way there. Another great, decent site. Oh, no. Not there. Uh, one, two, th one, two, three. So we can actually put one on the tip. Um, and this becomes an insane harbor. Look at this. Triple uh, adjacency. Yeah. Okay. Well, we'll get our money. Maybe we'll just become a big tourist island. Here I thought, you know, this is the thing. We're going to do all the crazy uh, loyalty busting stuff with it. And it turned into... This would have been nuts as um, the Netherlands. I mean, it's only got the one river, but we'd be able to do good work with it. And then you get, like, your turbo boats. Mmm. Turbo boats. Why don't you just go in here, rest for now, and we'll put you back on auto-explore duties or something. Heat duty. Yeah, I I'm good with this settlement. I think it's fine. Early Empire boost. Excellent. Maybe it's going to come anyway. Um, how much does it cost to purchase a trader? 190. Mm, you know, maybe. Yeah, I think we're going to buy the trader. Actual pacifism run? Yeah, maybe. And the thing is, well, this guy's got a great military thing. His little bobbleheads do potentially make the culture stuff. And... In this uh, expansion, you really do want to build wonders, and building wonders is less punishing. So I can see us, like, wonder spamming. Maybe we'll grab that as a religious idea? Or is that a pantheon? All right, we're going to be normal age, which I don't think makes much of a difference either way. Because loyalty is not going to be a thing. We're going to have good enough vision here. All right, we'll go and stand down there for a little bit of fog busting. When this spawns, I'm betting it can shoot the scout unless it runs away back here again. Excellent. Temple of Artemis needs to be built adjacent to a camp. We might be able to swing that somewhere. Um, I know I was talking about buying the trader, but you know what? Let's build the tra- Oh, no. Start on the campus. Ooh, or settler. No, campus. Okay. Goodbye, sheep. Yeah, I regret nothing. Done. Sheep Academy is a go. More city-states getting obliterated. There's not going to be any city-states left by the time we get off the island. <laughs> I mean, island, this this is clearly the world. This is the world that is surrounded by the great sea that is the universe. And that is that. So we got someone going down here. I don't know if barbarians will spawn there. Probably they can, but they're going to be more likely to spawn down here. So I'll move you down that way. That's going to be fine. Sheep Academy. You're a bad emperor. It's cool. It's an agricultural college. It's going to be fine. Uh, so these are coming along nicely. We'll get the monuments in there. Sure. And then we'll probably spam... How come you're not growing? Okay, culture's nice. Don't get me wrong. But let's let's... You know, make sure you're actually functional for the short term. I suppose I could have just put you on food focus. That'd be okay. Same thing could happen here. I could force this, but I'm actually kind of okay with the extra production. Just 
Just remind me to unlock these tiles later. Well, no, they're all they're still gonna be fine tiles, but. All right, yeah, you just chill here. Make sure no barbs spawn over there. Thank you. No barbs, otherwise we'll have to feed it, feed them to the demigorgon. Too soon. All right, Temple of Artemis, go. Make camps awesome. We'll probably get beaten to it, but then we'll have the production. It's gonna be okay. Um, yeah. All right, auto explore. Although you're not gonna have much to auto explore for very long until you can get off the island. I did not rename the new city. So I'm guessing Mapu is just the Mapuche name for city. So, you're going to be Unlikely Nomad. Well, since you are a landlocked city, I would say very much you are going to be an Unlikely Nomad. Boom, boom. Things coming in. Use XP uh, Barbarians to, uh, to farm XP. There's a limit, I think. Then you start just getting one XP at a time. I don't think it's worthwhile. Um... So we need astrology, because we're going to found a religion. Unfortunately, we don't have a natural wonder here, which means, A, we didn't get a boost to it, and B, we're not going to be able to put a really fancy holy site down, uh, which is unfortunate, but we'll do our best. Hopefully we'll get a religion before they're all gone. Might not happen, in which case we'll have to wait till the mid-game until someone reaches us with something. We are going to want to switch to colonization at some point, and I guess not now. Probably when state workforce finishes, that's when we'll do it. We've got our governor over here. Okay, always an interesting discussion here. Um, I think we can ignore the Catholic and the diplomat right now, um, and the cardinal for now. That's going to be fine. Um, I do like Magnus, but we'll probably hold off. It's going to be really Liang or Pingala is the question. And I'm going to go with Pingala. Sometimes you can wait for it, but we're about to get a first campus now, and it's going to be a pretty good one. So the plus 20% is actually going to do quite a bit for us. So Pingala it is... And actually, we might, if we're going for anything culture-ish, we might end up boosting him uh, a fair bit on the unexpected side of more culture. We might just end up grabbing all his stuff. We'll see. The other thing to consider is... Okay, when do we get the improvements to the government plaza? Specifically, the Ancestral Hall... Is there no tech requirement for Ancestral Hall? I was pretty sure there was. I don't see anything, though. It's an entry-level building. Okay. As soon as you get the plaza, you get the hall. So... Oh, yeah, that's right. You could search on this thing here. Um... Yeah, it doesn't show me anything. And it didn't show anything in the Civilopedia. Because we might want to... Since we don't have to race the AI, we could go right into an early ancestral hall, although we won't be able to do that until Jazerux size 7. Or no, you get your second district at size 4, right? Yeah. So we could go right into an ancestral hall over here, or right into a government plaza, then into an ancestral hall, and then spam settlers at half price, and get a bunch of free builders. I think you need the tier 1 government to build the hall. Okay, but we're, we're working towards that pretty quickly. So it's capped by the government, by the government slots. So presumably you get the second tier buildings when you get the six slot governments. Okay, campus, we get some points there. State workforce boost, excellent. Alright, um, oh, I was you guys were supposed to remind me to build a trader, or buy a trader, when we got to the gold. So I will do that instead of building it, that's going to be fine. So we could go right into a library, I could go right into a settler. Which might not be a bad idea to still squeeze one more out there. But tell you what, let's go ahead and um, maybe just library up. 